Really good take by the athletic Glenn Young in the second row. Jerry Flannery, the former Ireland hooker, is now the line-out coach here at the Stoop. Here's Danny Kerr, interesting little option there, and they have the ball, and they're over the line through Marchant, and a whole phalanx of yellow shirts crowds around the Harlequin centre. So, Sean, we've got a grinding, and we're happy, uh, we've got back, telling you to come back to if we need to. Can we just double-check the contact in the air here, whether there's a knock-on by Quinns into Bar first? They're both going up for the ball. There's no clear knock-on for me there, Sean. Superb I'm happy that that's OK. Can we now just move on to the grinding? he rises please? into that yeah, jump, agree. leading with the knee. Okay, so he gets the grinding. Nothing so, clear there. So just after that, he just places the rolls of the ball back, which is what I see, so I'm happy to award the try. So, Sean, there's nothing conclusive there. I'm happy to stick with the on-field, yeah? Nothing conclusive is your call. OK, thank you, mate. Harlequins with the arrow, white points here, Bath into the corner, surely is that a try for Bath doing some hoovering, some vacuum cleaning off the back of the mistake and Rory McConaughey has actually been doing this now for a number of weeks, capitalising on errors, staying really sharp and really alert. Left hand. Oh, oh yes! Wow! What a yeah, finish that is! For me. But um, yeah, I'm very happy. Actually, right. would have been proud of that one. <laughs> ben Spencer goes in. Rocco de Guni is on this right-hand side, and that's the side they go down, challenging the Harlequins' blindside defence. Oh, there's a lot of power there! Is that unstoppable power? Oh yes, it is. And that is a trademark of the way Bath have played this season. Bath have started this second half with real intent, looking very physical, highly charged. Priestland, the Glanville, and it's Miles Reid now as Harlequins try to get over that ball. Here's Red Path, 45 metres in the first half, look lively. McConaughey, straight run for the line. And that is top of the range rugby at the start of this second half from Bath, right from the whistle to the score. Rise of Harlequins around the ground and Lasiki. Carries it on. No, Harlequins a... trap themselves oh, in at the breakdown. Rob Shaw tries to go low. Three Bath defenders oh, hold him up. Landaho, and here is Don Brandt. Can't get close enough to the line. Landaho and Harlequins do get a score. And finally, they find a way to carve their way through that Bath defence. Here at the stoop, here's James Lang, the intercept. Oh, what a try this is going to be for Lewis Boyce. The pace, the timing. No one will ever be allowed to live that down. How many times is he going to retell this story? And against his old mates at the place he used to call home. Great speed off the line, great awareness and good wheels, what a wonderful moment for him. Fred Heron for Lang, March and does well to gather it, wow. and does well to beat De Glanville, and here is Landajo, now Mike Brown times it brilliantly to Lang, and again Harlequins find the melting point on a boiling hot day at the stoop in this bath defence. And it is a finish with a flourish in front of their fans. Well, no smiles from Paul Guster. Here in West London, the final score, Harlequins 27, Bath 41.